having to get everything across the world multiple times alone oh, yeah. is a feat. But having to like make trips that don't make sense, that's just a lot. And like they're already on that side of the world. Let them stay there. Let them Oh, I know, agree. Marinate like we, in that time zone. <laughs> yeah, we, we know that it's hard enough on Williams right now because Williams had to take um, Alex Albon's car chassis, send it back to Grove, and then get that thing shipped over to Suzuka, Suzuka after they repaired it, which from what we've heard, everything looks repaired and ready to go, but they still only have the the two buckets like they don't have a backup bucket still yeah james came out and said we will have two chassis we will not have three (laughs) so no one can crash (laughs) going no one's allowed to crash i wonder if this happens again what would happen that would be honestly what do you think they would do if you know alex crashes do they take logan out of the car again or what i think so I, I think really? they might. I think they might. Yeah. I, I don't think this is like a, a situation of like Albon needs to stop crashing. Like we're worried about Albon crashing. And I don't I don't think that Albon will. Um, but it's I, I think that Lo, Lo, Logan is the one to to get screwed more over than Alex would, even if Alex is the one who crashed again. Well, yeah, because if Logan crashes, they're not giving him Alex's car. So if Logan crashes, Alex. he's out. If Alex crashes, Logan's out. Logan's out. <laughs> either way you throw it logan's not racing if something happens poor guy yeah and like suzuka is also a track that is you know pretty dnf heavy like this this is not a track of weather weather too yeah i mean 2022 was a torrential downpour disaster of a race um last year we had a number of dnfs including a double dnf um from emily's favorite driver sergio perez um so it'll it'll be really interesting to see what it's like, especially with chances of rain in on you know for for Sunday. 